the mysterious binary files in email. So I'm using the Novell Groupwise client here. You can see I've got an email from Luke Skerritt which tells me down the bottom here there's this funny file, ones and zeros, the binary on it, this attachment can only be viewed by an external application. Oh, by the way, I'm viewing mine using this pane here. You may view yours like that, and so obviously when I opened up, then I get the, this can only be viewed there. Whichever method you're using, you'll end up with one of these. As opposed, if I go up to here somewhere else, assembly, and this one recognizes as a word file, but I've still got the can only be with external application. What does that mean? That means if I want to watch it, I look at it, I double click it, it opens Word, and there's the document. If I go back down to the mysterious one from Luke, so here we're back at the email from Luke Skerritt. You can look at that. Now, if I double click it, Yes, he does know it's a Word document, and it opens it up, and I can read it. So there's no problem with that. And I can go File, Save, whatever I want to do. But I'm just going to quit Word now without saving it. So that is that mysterious thing. I can drag it onto my desktop, put it there, and it tells me it's a swimming animal. It says right here that it is a Word document, and I can open it up anyway. So don't be afraid of these. That might happen. Every once in a while you may get a file like this one from Marissa. It is a publisher document. Can't use it on a um, Mac because we don't have publisher, we use pages instead. So I'll never know what's in that.